All right, here we go. We are going to talk about how to find some applications of how to find derivatives. We're going to go through two examples um, with A, B, and C. And in these examples, um, the first one, we're going to be using implicit differentiation. So to start off, we're going to take the derivative of S is defined dy dx. Our given equation is this implicit equation right here. So to find this, we're going to first take the derivative of x squared, which is 2x. So doing this with respect to x. Next, what we have is negative 2x times y squared. We're going to break this in. We're creating two functions to do the product rule. So we're going to have negative 2x, or negative, take the derivative of negative 2x, which is negative 2, times y squared. Um, plus, finish the product rule, we're going to take the derivative of y squared, which is 2y dy dx times negative 2x. From here, what we're going to do is that's going to be equal to uh, the derivative of y cubed, which is 3y squared dy dx. All right, and then the derivative of negative 8 is 0. Once we have that, we're going to now solve for dy dx because we need to isolate that. So I'm going to have 2x minus 2y squared right here. I'm going to keep that there. I'm going to add, since this is going to be 4xy dy dx, I'm going to add this to the other side. So we have 3y squared dy dx. And we'll have plus 4xy dy dx. We're going to factor out dy dx. Give myself a little bit more room. All right. And we have for our final answer 2x minus 2y squared all over 3y squared plus 4xy. When you factor out your dy dx right here, all right, we left over with all right, 3y squared, which is right there, plus 4xy, which is located right there. And that right there, my friends, is how we get our dy dx. So that is our derivative. Okay, and we finished that up. Now, the next part we're going to do is we want to take this and find the equation of the tangent normal line at the point 0, 2. Okay, so the equation of a tangent line, key things, all right, I'm going to find this, is a tangent line is we need a slope and we need a point. Now our point is 0, 2, and our slope of this tangent line is our dy dx. So we're going to take our point and substitute it in for all the values in dy dx. When we get that, we're going to have negative 2 times, plug in 2 into y, um, it's going to be 4, it's going to be negative 8. And we're plugging 0 into here just so everyone knows that gets 0. All over, plug in 2 right there, so we have 12. And then we get 0, it'll be 0, so we have negative 8 twelfths, which is actually equal to negative 2 thirds. So our slope, because that's dy dx, is our slope, is negative 2 thirds in our point here. So we'll find our equation of our tangent line by writing y equals negative 2 thirds times x minus 0, which is just x plus 2. We have negative 2 thirds x plus 2. Now, the next thing is we want to find our normal line. The normal line is a line that is perpendicular to the tangent line. All right, perpendicular to the tangent line. So, in order to find the line that's perpendicular, we're going to use the same point, but our slope is going to be the opposite reciprocal. All right, because perpendicular slopes, if you have this, perpendicular slope is opposite reciprocal slope. So we're going to have y for our normal line. So this is our normal. It's in blue. All right, we have two, or sorry, three halves. x minus 0, which is x, plus 2. And that is our normal line. Okay. Well, from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this values. So I'm going to do this. All right. Um, I'm going to write this down here. Because now we're going to find the location of the horizontal tangents, horizontal tangents for part C. I have 2x minus 2, because I'll need this. And I don't feel like just dragging it piecemeal down here. That's our derivative. Okay. For the last prop, part of this problem, we want to find the horizontal tangents, location of the horizontal tangents. Now, the location of the horizontal tangents um, is that we are looking for horizontal tangents. So that is... Um, slopes, because they're really horizontal lines, well, horizontal lines have slopes which equal zero. So that means our dy dx 
is going to equal zero. So that's what we're going. To, that's why I brought this down. Is because what we're going to do is we're going to take this equation, all right, and set that equal to zero. So we have two x minus two y squared over three y squared plus four x y and set equal to zero, we have a rational function that equals zero. Now, if you recall, for an algebra, a rational function that equals to zero when the numerator is equal to zero. So we're going to take 2x minus 2y squared and set that equal to zero. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to now take this and we're going to solve. And we have 2y squared. All right, add this other side, and then divide, we have x equals y squared. All right, I'm going to pause it for one second. I'll be right back. All right, so once we find our x equals y squared, and now what we're going to do is we're going to take that x equals y squared and plug it in, because now we want to figure out what the values are. Now, we have two variables, so what we're going to need to plug this in is we can't plug it back into the derivative. We're going to plug it back into the original function. Okay, the original function. So we're going to take our, for every x value, we're going to plug in y squared. Okay, so for every x value, we're going to plug in y squared. So what we have then is, let me get this down a little bit. All right. Um, we'll have then y squared squared minus 2 times y squared times y squared equals y cubed minus 8. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to take this, which we have then is y to the fourth minus 2y to the fourth equals y cubed minus 8. And now we're going to subtract that y negative y to the fourth equals y cubed minus 8. And I'm going to set this equal to 0. Now, when you have this, we now need to solve for y. To do this, we're going to use our calculators. And so if you take your calculator, we're going to plug that in there. So we're going to take our um, x, instead of x, we're going to use y. So we're going to have y to the fourth plus y cubed minus 8. So we're going to input that into our y equals. We go to zoom 6. We can now graph it. <laughs> we see this quartic equation. And what we're looking for is where are the zeros? Now our zero is located here and here. So we're going to go to second, calculate. Go down to our finer zero, press enter, and we're going to the left bound. All right, the left side of that, and it appears this one's going to be a negative two. We'll find out that's accurate. And it is, it's going to be negative two. So negative two is our first one. Okay, so we can write this on here. Uh, negative two, so y is going to equal negative two. If y equals negative two, we can plug that back into our original equation, so x equals. Um, four. That's our first point. The next one, we can find the other one because we have two spots. Remember the other spot right here. We're going to go a second, calculate. We're going to find our zero again. And now we're going to go to the left side. Press enter. Press enter again. <laughs> we get 1.478. 1.478. So we take that, and we have y equals 1.478 around three decimal places. If we plug that in, we're going to have 1.478. That's going to be squared, because if you recall, that's what x that's what x is. It's y squared. And we can put that in our calculator, but that's our second intersection. So that's where our horizontal tangent lines are. Okay, so things you should know. All right, by implicit. Implicit, know how to find dy or dx, so it's implicit differentiation. Using that to be able to find a tangent line and normal line, all right, and then find how horizontal tangents. Final one that we have is we're going to take this equation, f of x equals x squared minus 2x, and we're going to find the slope of the graph. Now, to find the slope of the graph, that means we're finding the derivative, because that's what the derivative is. So we're going to find f prime of x, which is going to be x squared, or sorry, 2x minus 2. Now we're trying to find the point of the graph at a f of a. So what we're going to do is we're simply just going to take our derivative and plug in a. So we get 2a minus 2. And that's our slope on the graph. 
Now the next thing it says, part B, it says where the, find where the slope of the curve equals z three. Well, where the slope of the curve? Now the slope of the curve, in order to translate this, the slope of the curve is f prime of x. We're going to try to find out where the slope of the curve, where f prime of x equals, we're going to put equals, negative 3. Okay, so doing this, we're going to take our slope, and what we have right here is going to be 2x minus 2, set equal to negative 3, and solve for x. Add 1, so we have x is equal to negative 1 half. Since we're looking for a where, we just need a x value, x equals negative 1 half. All right. Finally, find where, so only the x value, where the tangent line is parallel to this line. Well, where the tangent line is, well, tangent lines, that is a derivative, so it's f prime of x. We're trying to figure out where f prime of x is parallel. Now, parallel lines, the slopes of one line, if they're parallel, have to be equal to the slope of the other line. So these two slopes, if they're parallel, have to be equal. So that means the tangent line slope, which is f prime of x, has to equal the slope of this line. So we have to find the slope of this line. To do that, we're going to solve for y. We're going to have 10y equals 5x plus 7 divided by 10, and we have 5x plus 7 divided by 10, which actually equals 1 half x plus 7 tenths. Now looking at this equation, we can see that 1 half is our slope of this line. So that means... I'm going to take f prime of x to be parallel has to equal 1 half. So, with our derivative, 2x minus 2, that has to equal 1 half. Solve, we'll add 2 to the other side, so we have 2.5, that equals 2x, x has to equal 2.5 divided by 2. Alright, so that is our values. And that is what we have um, for the test coming up. All right, good luck with that, and um, God bless in your preparation.